All right, back with Postman. A couple questions were asked. Let me just go through those questions real quick. Now, uh, this is this uh, this is the URL we used in the last video. This is the IP address of my ESA. This is the port number. We separated with a colon and the ESA. The API uh, version is 2.0. The resource I'm trying to fetch is the system time. Okay. It's right here, not the one at the top. Well, this is the parameter. So how do I know it is the parameter? Uh, the parameters are written after the question mark. So you see the question mark there, right? I just messed it up. Okay, let me just clear that. And yeah, so after the question mark, whatever you mention are the parameters. In this case, I just have one parameter and this is the value. So you see the same thing here as well. You see the same key and the value, right? So whatever I populate here, whatever right here will be populated in this section as well. Now, let me just show that to you. If I go ahead and delete it, right? Okay, you see that it's actually doing it in real time right there as well. So if I just add it back, device type equals to ESA. Now, in some cases, I don't really have to use it, but in this case, I had to. Um, in case it's an SMA, I mention SMA. Right, so you see it populate there. And if you want uh, to add something in the next field, you mention and, and you see the next one uh, got populated. But whatever equals to whatever. Great. Right. Okay, let's look at a slightly more complicated example today, or a more complex URL. Well, this is pretty simple and straightforward, right? So let's see. Oh, let's just go here, and uh, let's see. All right, so uh, I've just structured the URL. As you can see, I'm using HTTP in this case. And this is the IP address of my ESA. This is uh, the port 6080 that we configure under network and then inter IP interfaces. That's where we configure this. We have to mention a colon right between the IP address and uh, the port number. Then we have the resource fetching, API version two, message tracking, messages. So what are the messages that we wanna fetch? And we mentioned the parameters. And as I just mentioned right before this, that after the question mark, we have the parameters. And as soon as I enter them here, we see the values right here. We see the key, and then we have the value on the right side. Whatever is mentioned after the question mark, uh, after the uh, equal to sign, you'll see that in the values right here, right? So we got different parameters. And in order to add multiple parameters, we use the M person sign, right? So this is the first parameter and this is its value. This is the second parameter that I'm using and this is the value. And uh, what I'm saying is since 17th, since, okay, the start date is 17th of uh, July and the end date is 26th of August. And I want the messages from the message tracking logs in this time frame, okay? And the subject filter uh, operator that I'm choosing is begins with, I can choose contains as well. That's completely my choice. Uh, and then I have the ampersand sign again and subject filter value. What is the subject that you wanna search for? Now again, the limit uh, you cannot ex you cannot exceed a hundred. Okay, a hundred is the limit. So if you want to run it again, you got to change the time and keep the limit as hundred again. So that's not going to be a problem. But again, you see there's a space right here in the URLs. If you're familiar with the URLs, you should know that there cannot be a space. But Postman takes it without any issues, and it actually changes it itself. If I was to copy this complete URL with the space in the browser, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. It's gonna change, it's gonna convert this space into percent 20. Uh, the, the, the space is actually represented like that. So if I was to go ahead and copy and paste it in the browser, it's gonna show me that, but I'm not gonna do it here. You can just do it yourself, not a problem. And these values right here, got populated uh, on their own as soon as I entered the value here. Okay, so um, a couple of things cleared now. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and send it. As soon as I send it, I should be able to see the results at the bottom. 
Okay, if I expand it, it says total count 14. And these are the, the mail from the recipient. And as you can see, the subject is test space URL. If I want, I can go ahead and change the space to, um, I believe I can, percentage 20 right here and run the same query again. And let's see, yeah, you see I got the results, right? So yeah, it, it works uh, in both the ways. As I said, this is the value for space, um, the space bar, the space that you mentioned in the URL, okay? So the browser uh, and the uh, postman actually does it on its own on the back end, but the browser will actually clearly show it to you. All right. Now again, for those of you who have not watched my previous videos where I get this URL, uh, where I got this URL from, uh, I've actually shared this information in one of my previous videos where I've shown examples of get, post, put, and so on. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, you know, paste the URL in the description of this video for 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 this information on where I got this. Uh, this value from the resource and the parameters and the options available, the values available for them. Well, I hope this helps. Again, if you wanna get the code for this, all you need to do is you just need to click on this link right here and you shall get the code. And if I click on it, oh, just click on it. Okay, you see, I got the Python equivalent for it. I wanted, I don't want it Python, I want, it in some other language, I can select from all these languages and get the desired code output. Right here, you can just copy it and paste it in, in a .py file in this case and just run it and you'll get the results. All right, thank you so much again. I hope this was uh, useful and um, the, the questions that were raised, I hope those are answered. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care, goodbye.